but I have to say hi or yeah, hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you can just try maybe once to to get to get the yeah. feeling, you know, and then okay. you just uh, get okay. to that point. Okay. Hi, I'm Alejandra. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Mexico. I'm studying my PhD in mathematics. I like to do CrossFit and I'm also a vegan activist. I'm vegan since two years ago. I think I was uh, more used to do here vegetarians and I always admired them. I always say like, oh, that's amazing but I never talk about it or they never tried to convince me or something. So I was really impressed. I say one day maybe I will try, but I... So I was uh, starting going to the gym and I didn't like the way that I had to eat, like a lot of eggs and meat. So my sister sent me a link of vegan protein shakes and I was like, what is this? And when I looked it and I saw that there was not eggs and milk and it was, it looks delicious. I wanted to learn more. And then one video uh, showed me more videos and then I go to the Gary Jurovsky speech and yeah, that's in one day I watch all of them. <laughs> oh, when I was uh, Gary Jurovsky's video, I was impressed. I wanted to stop it, like every five minutes I wanted to stop it because he confronted me and I was not happy about that but i was okay i will listen a little more a little more but after i finish it i say there is no way back so i went vegan that night while i was uh, watching that video i was feeling angry about um like why I didn't hear about that before. I was surprised. I was um, I was feeling that uh, I was doing things wrong because I really, really care about animals and I never stop and think about it. And yeah, I was just feeling guilty, feeling that I wasn't doing things right and I knew that I had to change. After I watched that video, I, I didn't say in that moment, I will be vegan. I say, okay, I will try. I will see how it goes. But next day I couldn't eat the food that I had in my fridge. I couldn't even use my not vegan shampoo or my not vegan cosmetics. I just, I couldn't. I, I say, because I say I will not throw this away, I will use it until the end. But it, it was just, I couldn't. I make me feel really bad. So I had to start from zero. In the beginning, I I start uh, with this style of life because the animals, but then I start caring about what I was putting in my body, and then I realized that before I wasn't uh, doing right even for my health because I was eating all these uh, cholesterol, hormones, and bad things from meat, dairy, and eggs. But now, like when I change and I start eating more fruits, more vegetables, more whole food, like my energy were, was up, my skin changed, like everything. I, I don't see any bad side. I just see good things that I got for veganism.
So some friends and some family members, they told me that this was this is too much, that I have to be really careful. And I understood because they care about me and they just wanted that I will be healthy. So my parents just asked me that please, I was sure that I will be okay. And that was the most important part for them. And when I proved them that I was okay, I, I make blood tests, I show them where I get the information for books, for documentaries, for doctors, and that I can be healthy with this diet, then they just, they support me. They really, I, I, every time that I go to Mexico, they really support me. They go with me to vegan restaurants. They are, they change, they are open and to this, yeah. So when I, when I became vegan, I knew that I wanted to do more and I was uh, trying to be part of societies or make um, some kind of activism, but there was not too much going on here in Slovenia. And at that time, I went to Australia for three months and I have the opportunity to go to a workshop, a uh, James Aspey workshop about activism. And he talked about how, like, why it's not enough being vegan. Because being vegan, it's okay, it's great, you are not part or you don't contribute to animal cruelty, but then you are neutral. And this is also, this is not enough for me. I had to do a little more and then I watched the documentary Dominion about how animals are trained in farms and in the slaughterhouses and that motivates me to do more. So I say when I will go back to Slovenia I have to start doing more. But at that time in April um, they start doing uh, cubes of true videos and then when I came back I joined them and I'm really glad that now the activism here in Slovenia is growing and you have the safe movement in Celje, in Maribor, now in Ljubljana, you have uh, Anonymous for the Voiceless in Maribor, in Ljubljana and in Koper, so it's, it's amazing and it's really important that People think that being an activist, you have to go out and scream and do this. But no, be an activist is share something in Facebook, share uh, a picture, write a song, make videos. Like there is so many ways that you can be active, and the animals need us today. It's different, depends of who is eating because of course I feel bad, sad, frustrated for the animal that suffered but also if it's someone from my family or friend it's harder because I really I love them and I know that they are good people and Sometimes I don't understand why if I show them what I know or I try, they keep it doing it that way. But I, I like to remember that I was the same. I wasn't vegan for, mo for 27 years of my life, but because I didn't know about in it. I, I didn't know how to do it better and I don't know, I, I tried to share what I know and then people will make the decision. I think 
it, I think people is afraid to change and people is afraid to listen to something that is against what they believe that is true. For me, the hardest part to when I decided to become vegan, it was accept that I was wrong. Accept that I was wrong about what I knew about the health, what I knew about uh, caring animals. And it, it was hard to believe to me that this is not not that it was not natural what I was doing that people that love me like my parents they tried to do the best for me and it was hard to believe that I was contributing for so many years to animal cruelty and that it that it was natural for me and so I think people is afraid to that and to change but to admit that they are wrong I don't think that people know what happened in Slaughterhouse because I didn't know before and even when I became vegan I was watching some videos and I mean, I couldn't watch more than one minute or like that. But even after one year of being vegan, I didn't knew I didn't know how to how was being Cyrus slaughterhouse. I watched um, the documentary Dominion, and I learned a lot about it. And also, when you go to the videos and you go in front of slaughterhouses. You can hear the animals, and there is not a worse feeling than being there. So I I don't think people can understand just what is going on inside of a star house. I, I'm, I'm sure that I cannot be with a not vegan person. I will not be able to share my life with um, not vegan because I want to share my life with someone to, with uh, have the same values than me and that really understand. Because sometimes people think or say that oh my friend understand me or this family member understand me. For me, if they will really understand, they will be vegan. There is not another way to understand that an individual or an animal have a right to live and not be vegan. So I'm not, I'm not close that all my friends or the new people that I know they have to be vegan. Of course, no. But when it comes to my partner of the person that I would like to share my the rest of my life, then yes, it uh, I would like to share my life with a vegan person. Yes, I want to believe that there is some compassion in all of us. It's just that. We don't know the truth and yeah, when we will have the, inform the right information, then we will make uh, more compassion choices. Try, try, because it's gonna be... I can, I can, I can just say... Uh, the, um, Sam Alejandra, Sam Sara de Bed and Vice Led, Sam is Mexica. The summon. Next morning. It's called the Vegano So Super. <laughs> 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 <laughs>